Resident property were threatened yesterday into the night from a wildfire that started near mile marker 45 on eastbound I-70. Authorities are calling it the 45 fire. New at 10 o'clock, the 45 fire forced evacuations of about 20 homes. And our nightbeat reporter, Rob Hagan, went to the epicenter of the fire to find out more. He stands by live with the story. Rob. That's right, Katrin. And right now, I'm not near mile marker 45 where the 45 fire started. I'm right here in front of the fence at XL Energy because these guys have been working day and night and day again to restore power back to the Rapid Creek neighborhood. Now, the 45 fire may have left its mark in Palisade, but the residents at Rapid Creek that were ev evacuated are back home and they continue to persevere. 32 acres are torched by a wildfire authorities are calling the 45 fire, but it could have been a lot worse without the quick actions of first responders from one of the homeowners. I showed up up here uh, right when the first fire trucks were getting up here. Parker's shed was destroyed and some of his peach trees burned up, but this good neighbor nephew didn't think twice about helping his uncle or saving the neighborhood. They have an excavator over there, so I hopped in that and started trying to clear some of the, the wood out of the way and get a uh, fire break so we could uh, get the fire to quit moving around the hill. Fire crews don't just fight the flames, they fight the terrain itself, but because of that fight, no lives were lost. Just some smoke damage in the house, everything kind of smelled like smoke, but we were uh, super fortunate to be able to, I mean, basically the house was surrounded and uh, somehow we were able to save that. These melted power lines show you the ferocity of the flames from the 45 fire that forced 20 homes to evacuate. We got up into the poles enough and, and dropped the power, um, so we lost all water. So that was kind of an issue of trying to get enough water uh, going to, to you know, supply the trucks up here to, to keep fighting the fire. And here, right across the street from the burn scar, lies one of those homes that was saved. But life won't return back to normal till the power comes back on. We're out of power. We got a generator running the fridge right now, keeping the, the food cold. And uh, they're, you know, they're working around the clock right now, trying to get the power restored. At last report, the 45 fire has been 90% contained. And Parker's dad worked as a Palisade firefighter. His brother-in-law currently works for Debeck Fire Protection District, and he's known the fire chief his whole life. So folks, the point of the story is don't fight the flames, leave it to the professionals. And finally, Parker says XL Energy told him that the power should be back on about 6 p.m. But when I left at 7 p.m., they were still working. First on the Western Slope and live outside of XL Energy, I'm Rob Hagan with KREX 5 News. Katrin. Rob, thank you very much.